tracks today. Yeah. Yeah. I need them bands, running up fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Leaving the house the glizzy, nigga. Let's get to the sports talk. With Mama Day, which is actually tomorrow on 824, which will be celebrated with the release of these fire, undefeated Nike Zoom Kobe 4 pack. Uh, meanwhile, today, Kobe's 41st birthday marks another busy year post basketball in which he co wrote a book named Legacy and the Queen and welcomed his fourth daughter, Capri. But the further away we get from Kobe's playing days, the more Kobe stands stay the same. And it was uh, this time last year when Kobe spoke out about his fans, saying, quote, they need to fall in line and support the new king in L.A. But now that we're a year into the LeBron Laker era, Horace, do you think that they were ever fully, truly embraced LeBron? Well, I think we know what the criteria is to even begin yeah. that discussion, and that's an NBA title for LeBron. And I don't think that, they, that LeBron can ever truly get to that level of Kobe, because look, the, the, the time is not going to be there for LeBron. He's going to spend at most, what, five years as a Laker probably, at the most? Kobe's got an entire career with one team ingrained into the fabric of the franchise. And I don't think it's even fair to, to, to wonder if LeBron can get to that level. We know what it takes to begin that discussion, and LeBron hasn't done that yet. They, they haven't even been to the playoffs yet with LeBron as a Laker. I still get a nightmare. Yeah, like, LeBron's not going to, you know, be like Kobe. I'm, I'm talking about for as a Lakers great because he only signed a four-year deal and he's not going to be a Laker forever. Like, he's 35 right now. Like, he's not going to – they're not going to embrace him like they embrace Kobe because Kobe's been there his whole entire career. Like, they're not going to really embrace LeBron like that. It's like a Laker great because – because he haven't been there that long. He had to go beat LeBron like four years with them. And the team is different. Because Kobe been there since he got traded on draft night to the Lakers. And the people that traded him. Uh, traded Kobe, man. Big mistake. Look how great he is, man. Look, look, look what he accomplished. You know, five rings. He could have changed the franchise. They would have kept him. Kobe Bryant, and I and I say that because we had the opportunity in 1996 to draft him. I say it's the greatest workout never seen, and we brought him in four or five times in 1996. Uh, back then, you could work out. College, uh, well, he was in high school coming out. High school players against NBA players, so he worked out against Ed O'Bannon from UCLA and Khalid Reeves and totally destroyed them. And uh, Kerry Kittles, as you've seen, was certainly a good player for us, but he is no Kobe Bryant. Right. And, um, you know, back then, the, the high school players were not really the thing. You know, Kevin Garnett had gotten drafted the year before. We had a young coach in John Calipari, who was coming out of UMass. And uh, you could tell right there in a tiny gym in Fairleigh Dickinson. Imagine if the Nets would have took Kobe. Imagine... They would have had Jason Kidd, Vince Carter come over there with Kobe, Kenny Martin. Now imagine that would have been a Warriors type team in that era back in the 2000s. Imagine Kobe bringing a title to New Jersey. If they would have took him, they would have been the Warriors in 2000. Before the Warriors even thought of as a dynasty type team. That would have been a nice team for them. If they would have drafted him, they passed him up for uh for Kittles. Like no wrong, Kittles was a good was a good player for them. Like like I used to watch New Jersey games. He was a good player for them. Now imagine but imagine they would have not passed up on Kobe. Now imagine that team they would have had. Kid, Kim Martin, Vince Carter would have came over. Kobe. Can you imagine that team? Can you imagine that team? They would have won multiple championships. Because how Kobe developed into a great player, they'd have been unstoppable. Um, university, that he was going to be a special player. Can you just look at that old video? It's on Kobe's birthday, he's an aging wonder. Because he looks the exact same. Uh, but Royce, you mentioned, you know, LeBron not being able to 
be the same in Kobe Stan's eyes. But that's what we're talking about. People who are loyal to Kobe. Because I think it comes down to the argument of, you know, LeBron being the better player than Kobe. But and there's a difference between Lakers fans and Kobe's fan, Kobe fans, because our producer Tucker, exactly he's a Kobe right. fan, and and he says his dad, who's also a Kobe fan, does not want to be a Laker fan until LeBron is gone. I and mean, what are your impressions of that? Yeah, and, and that's and I think that's just the reality, Cass, is that you know we, we saw it last year with the murals going up in yeah. LA. And I think it's fine to be excited. Uh, about both things, about, you know, celebrating the career and the legacy of Kobe Bryant. Uh, you know, do we have the same thing, though, you know, putting up the Lakers there? Do people feel the same way about Magic Johnson and then Kareem? Do they do they have these, like, segmented bases of the uh, of the fan base that feel like that they I have think the support? segment is maybe post-MJ, because the, qu the question is, who's the best post-MJ player? Because it's always, you know, the conversation, who's better, LeBron or MJ? Is that your impression, Bobby? Well, I think the, the post-MJ is, is Kobe. I mean, I know, I know what LeBron has done in Miami and certainly with, with Cleveland, but when you look at his 20 years with the Lakers, five NBA championships, and it's funny, I had an argument with an Uber driver in L.A. Yeah. about the same subject as far as what he thought my impressions on the Lakers would be, and I thought they were going to be you know, a top three team, and he still has bitterness about LeBron even joining the Lakers here because of the Kobe sentiment there. Oh, wow. I'll be <laughs> chiming in on the, the GOAT conversation in game. Watch this. Watch this. LeBron win a championship this year. Watch how everybody going to say, oh, he the greatest. Oh, yeah, I'm glad he joined the Lakers, man. Like, he, he just showed how great he is. Come on, man. People, hypocrites, man. People, uh, they like it when you, when you winning, but let you not win something. They against you. Keep that in mind. Putting Kobe above LeBron. That, that's for another day, maybe, uh, down the line. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis.